Praise the Lord. For our reflection today, we are going to focus on the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 6 verses 39 to 45. This is a continuation of the Sermon on the Plain, which is also called the Sermon on the Mount according to the gospel of St. Matthew. This section of Pericope deals with discipleship where the Lord is instructing the disciples to grow in various areas of holiness. And though the verse we are focusing on today, which is 41, may seem exaggerated and humorous, but the Lord uses this graphic image which is in verse 41 for effect. Let's read 41. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye, but pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How true it is of us all. We are so judgmental in nature. We are quick to find faults in the lives of others, whilst we ignore glaring sins in our own lives. And why do we find faults? One of the reasons is we try to project our own failings, faults, failures onto others. Let me give you an example. If I have this area of impatience in my life, very often I am quick to pounce on a family member who acts impatiently. Or if I see a friend who has fallen in some area of sexuality, I will immediately correct him and point out his glaring fault. Maybe I struggle in the area myself. Now this speck is brought out beautifully in the story of the adulterous woman in the gospel according to St. John. The religious leaders brought the woman caught in adultery before Jesus for judgment. But Jesus in his wisdom takes time and he pardons the woman. He does not judge her. On the contrary, he gives permission to the religious leaders by telling them, if they are without sin, cast the first stone. And all the religious leaders, one by one, dropped their stone and walked away. Have we not been caught in some act? Maybe not adultery, but it could be something like cheating in an exam or evading tax. Probably at some point, we were caught by our spouse browsing through unhealthy sites on our mobile and how embarrassing it may have been, but yet we were forgiven and the incident forgotten. So who are we to judge? James chapter 4 verse 12 would say, we have one lawgiver and one judge. And Jesus, gentle as he is, calls us hypocrites. A strong word. Someone who hides behind a mask, sweeping his own sins under a carpet and pointing out the tiny petty sins of others. And very often hypocrisy is more evident to others than it is to us. And this hypocrisy is seen in the story in 2 Samuel chapter 12, where prophet Nathan tells King David the story of the rich man who had a guest in his home and wanted to prepare a meal for him. And he goes and kills the only lamb of his poor neighbor. And David is furious and he said that the rich man must be punished. And Nathan says, you are the man. Don't we have skeletons in our cupboard? But the Lord knows our heart, our mind, our motives. 
and very often we will forget about our own sins and act so harsh and uncompassionate when we are as disciples are called to be merciful and loving and help each other and overlook the faults of others we very often just want to go about judging now it's okay to have an opinion we have likes dislikes but crucifying the person is not christian and so the lord calls us as, as disciples to grow in this area of holiness and what are we to do he says stop speck faulting and start some soul inspecting and to do that we have to have a good look critical look at areas in our own life ask the holy spirit to convict us of sin areas and deal correctively with it by asking for forgiveness repenting and only then after getting rid of our blind spots we can be more loving and look at others compassionately and liberally and why is it so important to grow in holiness because we are now disciples but some day we are going to be leaders mentors and we cannot be blind guides so many depend on us our children our spouse people in the community and so we have to use wisdom and discernment and besides growing in holiness the lord does not stop us from correct, correcting another brother or sister because we have a moral responsibility to also take another brother or sister on this journey of faith we walk together interacting correcting them in love but never confront a brother in public take him aside and lovingly point out his mistake or fault and constructively build him up and i always pray this each morning i say lord may i be slow to speak give me a tongue that will not condemn that will be compassionate give me spiritual insight to look at each one with eyes of love for matthew chapter 6:22 says the eye is the lamp of the body if the eye is healthy then the whole body is filled with light also the mouth how we must guard this mouth and psalm 141 verse 3 says put a guard at the door of my lips and put a sentry at the door of my mouth that i may never speak anything critical hurtful and dehumanize a person but i may use the fruit of the holy spirit to build each sister or brother and may we be transformed may there be a real conversion in our lives so that we as disciples may bear much fruit for the kingdom of god god bless you have a nice day mm-hmm.